What's up, gang? Checking in out here at Ray Brandt Nissan out here in uh, New Orleans, or should we say Harvey, Louisiana. What are we going to talk about today real quick, because uh got some people I'm about to meet with. We've got a training class this week. One of the things I do want to talk about is how do you get service customers? What's up, babe? How, how you doing? doing? I'm excellent, bro. On the phone talking to my, to my people online. Give a shout out to the man over here. <laughs> All right, so how do we get customers out of service? What most salespeople don't know is that the service department is actually a gold mine, but everybody's terrified to go over there. Let me give you some reasons why the service department is an excellent way to generate business. Number one, they're already a previous customer typically, and they're bringing their vehicle here to get service. So they already believe in your store and the store has some credibility. Number two, they already like your product. Obviously, they bought the product, they're bringing it in to get serviced, and even if they did not buy it from the dealership, they still rather bring their vehicle to this store, which means that they value this store. So the store has credibility already, so they trust it. They got the vehicle in here getting some work done on it. Now, here's the kicker about that. One thing I've seen people that are masters in the service department do, they invest a little money and they go buy donuts, walk through the service department and hand out donuts and shake hands. Then after that, they find an individual and they just sit out and it's just a general conversation. Like, hey, see you sitting here, you getting your vehicle worked on, what type of work you getting done on your vehicle? Well, I'm getting this, that, and the other. Really, what type of vehicle do you have? Uh, what year is it? Now, once you find out what year it is and whatnot, especially if it's one where the warranty is getting ready to expire, um, you can really educate them on, hey, listen, you know your warranty may be getting ready to expire. Have you thought about you know, jumping into something new where you get a, a, a newer warranty? You get your coverages back. Um, if I can keep your payments somewhere around where you are now, would you be interested in at least taking a look or seeing what you may be eligible for? Okay, that's a big deal. But it's all about sitting down and just having a conversation with people while they're back there. But one of the best people I've seen in getting service customers, they go out, they hand out donuts, or they go buy uh, candy, or they go back and they shake hands and just introduce themselves and sit down and just start asking questions, get their name, find out what they're getting work done on, uh, find out what year it is. And like I say, the way you can truly add value to somebody is if they're getting ready to, their warranty is getting ready to expire, okay? Or if they have a pre-owned vehicle that's a little older that they're getting work done on, they may consider jumping into a newer vehicle if the payments can be somewhere around where they are currently. But don't underestimate the power of the service department. Go back there, shake hands, ask questions. Remember, they believe in your dealership. It already has credibility, but it's up to you to go back there and you know, become friendly. Some people make the mistake of trying to be the friend of a customer. You can't be their friend, you just met them. You could be friendly, but remember that you are not their friend, but that can be established after time. So go back there, introduce yourself to somebody, and get to know somebody. But do not underestimate the power of the service department. There's a lot of opportunity back there that's just sitting there watching TV on their phones or bored to death. So if you're waiting on a lot of ups and it's kind of slow, if you made all your dials and you're done with that, if you've been on social media and you're waiting on some appointments to come in that evening and you're looking for something to do, Go back there to the service department, introduce yourself to somebody, make sure they know about the condiments, make sure that they are aware of all of the perks that come with your service department, find out what they're getting work done on, find out what year it is, and think of all the ways that you can bring value to this person that is sitting in the service department. And again, when a customer's warranty is getting ready to expire on their vehicle, it will behoove them to get into something else where their warranty is renewed, it starts over, or else they will be coming out of pocket for any of the repairs or any of the issues that the vehicle may have, okay? So if you're looking for a way to generate additional sales, make sure you utilize your service department because again, it is a gold mine. And if you're looking for the word tracks on how to introduce yourself and talk to customers in the service department, if you're looking for the ways that you can qualify and ask questions and not get stuck in your process, if you're looking for ways that you can put your social media up and it actually garners attention and drives people in and generates traffic to you at your store, all you have to do is click the link in the description of this video, go on over because what's available 
is the ultimate online automotive sales training program. And it's complete with over three and a half hours of audio and video of the entire sales process, the road to the sale. Call it how to dominate at the dealership. It takes you through how you greet the person and get them, and get them inside within 45 seconds. How to sit them down, what questions that you ask to get them fully qualified while building rapport at the same exact time. And rapport is not a step in the process. That's something we do from the moment we lock eyes for the entire time that this person have an interest in our product. That could be one year, five years, seven years. It's a long-term relationship, not a one-night stand. But we take you through how to do that. Not just the steps, but the psychology behind each and every step, which is so powerful. And it's transforming the performance of people at dealerships all around the country. It could do the same thing for you. Also, how to drive Facebook leads that you can use immediately to drive customers from your social media page to your dealership ready to do business with you. There's over three hours of that and how to drive Facebook leads. There's also the online traffic surge, which is over three hours of how to use Snapchat, Instagram, and leverage all these other social media outlets. There's the 100 success tips used by the most powerful and productive people in, the, in business, in the sales business, that you can utilize. It's 10 videos over two hours that you can listen to. You can listen to with your children to empower them, your spouse to empower them. You also have access to weekly coaching sessions with me. So if you're looking to how to take the information, I call it the business in the box, put it together and help you double up and triple up at your dealership, you and I will work together every week on the weekly coaching sessions to help you improve and get better. So all you have to do is click the link in the description, go over and check it out, and I assure you, when you see what you can access this program, how you can access this program, it's gonna completely blow your mind. So make sure that you click that link in the description, Go on over, check out all of the information, and I look forward to seeing you on the training and at the dealership. But remember, the service department is a goldmine. I'm Brian Maxwell, over and out.